I just received a Sheen order in the mail. Thought we could go over it together. This looks like fall stickers. Oh, we have a kitty cat. <laughs> Bella, keep going, you. This one. This was a two pack. Let's see the other one. Super cute. Next, we have some Christmas charms. There's like some snowmen and some gingerbread cookies, presents. I really like the size of these. Next we have some of these silver Barbie heads. With all the Barbie things going on right now, I figured I should get some just in case. And we have a ton of stickers. I think this one's the last fall thing. This is a pack of water slide stickers. I'll change the angle so I can show you. So that one. I love the little foxes, how sweet. Like summer zoo animals, I guess. Little raccoons, cupcake. Oh, I really like that sheet. Birds and birdhouses. I don't know what elephants and hippos have to do with fall, but okay. We oh, really like that one. That one. Oh, that's super cute. Kind of like fall and zoo animal pack. I'm not sure. <laughs> Next we have some winter water slide stickers. This is like a big sheet. I got two of this one here. It's kind of just like little penguins and cats, snowflakes, like winter theme. Here's the second one. Then, we have some butterfly stickers. This house kind of all over the place. Those. I really like that. And some multicolor ones. Next, we have this two pack of gnome stickers. This this one. I really like that. That one. Next we have another pack of nail stickers that are Christmas. This is the same... I think the same one from that. Oh yeah, okay. This one's the same. We have this one. That one, I think I have that one already. I think I have a lot of those actually. I'm trying to stock up for Christmas. Next we have this pack. We have snowman. Oh, 
Oh, I love that. Hot chocolates and ornaments. This is kind of like a abstract birds. Some deer. Oh, that's why I bought this pack. I had this sticker sheet before and I used most of it. Super cute. And the last sticker pack. We have some girls on that one. This pick is different. I don't have anything like this. I love that one. Animals. Nature. Oh, that's so cute. I love this little guy here. Ooh, that's cute too. This is my first look at these, by the way. Dear. That looks like a potato. What is that? <laughs> I have no idea. The other day when I was buying something from Timu, I added a couple nail things to the cart, of course. This is a little brush that cleans nail bits. Then this sticker set came in a three pack. There's this one. That one. That one. And then there was a nail slide pack. Some leaves. I love this sheet. I have this one already. Spooky cakes. Some pretty basic Halloween ones. That one's cute. I really like all the little skeletons. That's a pretty sheet. Super cute. First we're just going to cut all these up and then we are going to organize everything to where it belongs. It would literally be a miracle if I cut all these perfectly. That never happens. <laughs> I'm just going to fast forward through the rest. Seriously, I'm the absolute worst at cutting this. I just cut the tops off of that. <laughs> So I lay them out this way, just so I can see what I have, because I know I have doubles of half of these, I'm sure. I just need to go in here. This one's full. I don't think there was any Valentine's Day. That one's 
floral. I think this one's Halloween. Yes. Christmas is... I think there was a summer one there. Take that. Characters. Feathers. And animals. Okay, maybe take that one. Butterflies. Where is the Christmas one? Must be this one. Yes. Okay, actual stickers. There's butterflies. Winter and Christmas. Let's start with Christmas so that we can kind of get some room here to lay the books down. So I'm just gonna flick through these and pair them together. I think that's that one. I've definitely seen that bunny somewhere. So for the ones that won't fit in here, I just usually put them on top of ones that I know my clients will never pick. Like that, for example. I know they would not pick any of that, so I usually just pick the one I like the best and stick it on top. These water stickers here aren't my favorite. It's by Izzy's Treasure Box. I don't think she does them anymore. I got them on Etsy a couple years ago. She has like the coolest ones. Okay, I don't think I have duplicates of any of those, so I'm just gonna poke them in here. Okay, next we have to organize this stack of stickers and divide them by category. My Halloween box is maxed out for space, so I'm going to start just a little album until I go back to Michael's and get another one of those. We don't have a Michael's where I'm from, so I have to travel there. I think the closest one is like five hours away. These longer sheets here don't fit into the box, so I kind of just lay them on top this way. Stick up. So in the last vlog, you've seen me switch over to these containers. I've actually been really enjoying them because I'm more of a dump and go kind of girl. So this really works for me instead of having to always put them back in here. So I used to store all of my water slide stickers in little bins, but I find they slide around a lot. So I bought this style book. I don't really like this one as much because it doesn't have the thing on it to keep it shut. But all of them are from Sheen. I think on Sheen they're only like $3.50 Canadian, but on Amazon they're almost $10. You just have to watch for that. Okay, so the next thing we have to put away are these little Christmas charms and the Barbie ones. So the Barbie ones will go here.
super cute. And the Christmas ones. Mm, let me just put them in here for now. Or maybe... I keep all my smaller ones in here, but I don't... There's no, like, holiday section. Mm. Yeah, let's put them in here. So I really want to switch these out and do seasonal nail art instead, but I have no idea where to put this. So let's do a little tour. Up top here, I keep all my little caviar beads. And then these are kind of like pixie, like Swarovski pixies, but they're not. They're just knockoff ones. This one here is metal stud things. We have two gold, two silver, and a gunmetal-ish color. I also keep my water for my watercolor in here. This one is kind of like a collect all, to be honest. I have some crystals, pearls, more caviar beads, some paints, trays, Random little things that I got in lately. These are pointy bag. Also keep my foils in here because I reach for these a lot. This one here is all of my like AB Sorskis crystal and crystal shimmer. And then down here is also just Random little things I got in that I have no idea where to put. I don't typically give these to my clients. These are just ones for like playing around or for press-ons. I'm not sure what these are called, but I really like them. And this one's kind of like a summer pack. It has shells and pearls, starfish, little metal things. So up top of the second one here, I keep my little stamper and scraper and little things in here. My Zoya nail polish remover. I absolutely love this. I buy it by the liter bottle. And this little Moira stamping thing. Inside this top one. It's most of my magpie flakes and some that my friend sent me back here. These ones are kind of just ones I got from like eBay, AliExpress, Sheen, things like that, but I also really like them. I love these from Born Pretty, but I'm not sure if you can still get them. This one is Chrome's um, Beamy Beauty Box. We have Chrome's from Social Class and Fusion. These are some wildflower ones in here. These little pots here are just from AliExpress. You hardly get anything in those. These ones are all mostly from Amazon. I use these for chrome stamping or like nail art things. And then down on this last one, we have Light Elegance, Little Pretties, some Wildflower, is that one chrome? Chromes, I also have their sugar powders in here, I think. This chrome right here um, let's see if I can focus that. OPI Tin Man Can. This one is the one they use for glazed donut nails, and it works really well. 
It's kind of like a sheer chrome. It just gives it a shiny look and don't really change the color. So this is the Eclipse powder I used in a nail art design. If it is hot, it changes to clear. So whatever you have underneath will pop through, like stamping designs or whatever. And then when it is cold, it is black, just solid black. Oh, and there's a little chrome palette back there. I just got this recently, I've never used it. It looks super pretty though. I want to show you these bins. I keep all my swatch sticks in. I got them from Ikea in the kitchen section. I just find this so much easier for clients to dig through rather than this. I find this just gets a big tangled mess and I can't organize it properly. But this I love. I need to get a second one though for pink because it is like jam-packed. Purples is getting there too actually. 